Hey guys, I am finally here with the Love From Lizzie January 2022 card kit called Mini Thanks. My kit, as you can see by the stickers, was stuck in customs. So I got it a couple days ago, just haven't had time to get to it. I'm gonna skip my unboxing because I'm sure by now you've seen it and it's a little late. And Lizzie's gonna be coming out with a new kit in a week or so. So we're not gonna waste time with unboxing. I am gonna show you everything that comes in the kit. As far as, I'm not gonna waste my time with a separate video. <laughs> We're just gonna get on into it. But I'm gonna show you what's in the kit. If you wanna skip that, you've already seen it. There will be a timestamp down below. But this is for those that have not caught the unboxing. So it is still available if you're interested. Definitely head over and take a peek. The link will be below. So, I have not even had a chance to watch Lizzie's unboxing. So, if you have and I sit, misspeak, please let me know. Correct me down below. So, you get five pieces of cardstock. We have a black, kind of a grayish, light gray, and three white cardstock. The white is alcohol marker friendly. Then, here is the stamp set. Um, it's called Many Thanks, the kit. So, you get this wonderful thank you stamp set. I love making thank you cards and you get three, six, nine different thank yous in different fonts and then you get some um, just stamps. This reminds me of mixed media, um, like when you use mixed media or whatever, but these stamps create great layers. So that'll be fun to use. Here are your gemstones. You get black, silver, and white in three different sizes. Sequins that match perfectly with the kit. Oops, one of my lights is facing the other way. Here is your um, twine that you get this month. It looks like it's three, no, two, let's see. Three different pieces. You get a black and silver, a white and silver, and then a black and gold. That's nice twine. For the peel-offs, you get gold. They are pinstripe, but they are all single size. There's not that three different sizes. Nice and pretty and glittery. For your dies this month, you get this cute little, like, ribbon. So you get this huge piece. And then you get a banner piece and then you get some a scallop circle you can use by yourself or layer layer it so you would cut this out of paper then probably cut this out of paper um and i would uh what's it called put dimensions on it so there's some dimension and then this says queen for the day but you could stamp happy birthday um congrats or I'm just thinking of stuff for like kids uh, baby shower whatever for a baby shower that would be really cute to create your own little um, ribbon for whatever occasion here is another banner these are great to have staples to have for um, sentiments all right we're going to go through all the paper and the punch outs here so, it looks like we get some vellum pieces. Here's some gold and silver, and then some silver polka dots with the foiling. And then, woo, that's bright. Some striped gold. This goes well with the stamp set. And then this gold one. I like the vellum pieces. And these pieces of paper are really interesting. Just kind of... Flipping through these really fast, so this isn't this is not too long. But these have some interesting, they're quite thin, but really pretty. Oh my god, it's like shining in my eyes. So bright. But really pretty paper. You could do um if you like making like dimensional projects, these would be great because they are thin enough that they would take a crease really well. So there's those. We do get some punch apart, punch out things, whatever you want to call them. Um, and Lizzie's included these types of things before in her kits. So here is like little journal cards um, that you could use or these little tags. 
This would be cool for a planner because it's numbered. And then you have these little banner pieces, which they are scored at the top here so you can fold them and create dimension. We have some tags. Then here are some boxes that you can put together. Some strips, I'll definitely be using those. Then we have these that you could cut and use single or fold them and create a dimensional project. Some pieces to make bows. And here are some other punch aparts envelopes. We have some letters. These are stickers. These are really pretty. And then here are some little letters and squares, kind of hard to see on camera. And then a couple more of those pieces of paper. Then we get these little brads, <clears throat> excuse me, brads. Those are cute and they match perfectly with the kit. So that is it for the kit. I do have a couple add-ons, which are the peel-offs. So this is a pinstripe pack. You get black, silver, another silver. It's hidden behind here and white. And they are pinstripes, so the three different sizes. And then this one's a mix. You have your scallop, hearts, circles, and then pinstripe again, the single size. So that was crazy rushing through it. So now we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you the cards I made. All right, so here are my 10 cards that I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you this one first because I'm having issues with it. So my cards are very simple because the paper is just so pretty. Um, with this one, I just did a panel here, but I stuck the stickers, thanks, and my stickers aren't sticking. So um, I don't know if it's the card stock or the stickers, but just keep that in mind. If you do use, the, if you do get the kit and do use the stickers, you might have to add a little bit of glue behind them because they're all just popping off so I'll have to go back and fix these but I thought that was a cute um, design okay the next one I really like is just um, I cut down a piece of pattern paper then used one of the little panels that I punched out and then this um, piece, all these pieces are ones that I punched out um, that says thank you and it coordinates with the pattern paper. Here is one, I did use glue adhesive so it's warping a little. Um, this is a piece of vellum I believe and it's quite thick. So I just added glue to the spots you want it to be able to see. And I used one of these little tags and then I stamped out thank you from the stamp set. Again, really simple. But I like really simple thank you cards. This one I think is pretty cute. Um, I used four of the little banner pieces. Whoops. Then I tied some of the black twine and then did hello there. Popped it up. This one I like. Um, I used two strips of paper. It's actually the strips that came on a sheet and that you punch out. Um, they're really long, so I just layered two of them. I layered one of the other pieces and then added this tag that says thank you. It's a little embellishment circle piece. And then I added some sequins. I like this card. For this card, I used the die. It's really cute. I wasn't sure I liked it after I made it, but actually looking at it and looking at it through the camera, it's pretty stinking cute. This die is really cool. Um, I just did here the center down, so these um, obviously flap up. Um, it almost looks like a windmill. And then I did, again, a strip of the punch-out little ephemera pieces. I just glued that there. But that's, that's really cute. <laughs> I like it more now than when I did it. So this card, I used the stamp set. I just got out some antique linen Distress Oxide ink and I used one of the stamp sets and just kind of stamped splotches and then added a thank you sentiment and then some sequins. But, whoopsie, I did it backwards. So we're going to pretend that that didn't happen and move on to the next card. <laughs> 
So this one I really like. I just cut a diagonal piece of the um, silver pattern paper. And then these two were punch outs and we'll just call them ephemera pieces. So was this one and I just kind of layered them up and then I added some of the um, gemstones, which actually when I was unboxing it, I said were three different sizes. There are four different sizes of the gemstones. So I like that card as well. This one I like too. Um, I used a circle die to cut out this and then the stamp set had little splotch stamps. So I added a few. I don't know if I really like that look. Um, if I had it to do over, I probably would have skipped those stamps, but whatever. And I added a couple of these little banner pieces. Then I stamped out a thank you, cut it out, and went ahead and attached that. And then for the final card, and then for the final card, really simple, I just used a strip of the silver mirrored paper. For the stickers, I put hello. These are sticking a little bit better. I do need to probably fix the L. And then here are four different sizes of the rhinestones. So really fun kit. I, I made all these cards in probably an hour. I mean, I was flying surprisingly because I didn't have ephemera pieces really so um, I thought I was gonna have trouble but nope I just told myself keep it simple and and uh, it'll all come together so if you are interested in the kit it will be linked below I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what card you liked the best and I will catch you next time bye